Jeff the Hungarian PM Viktor Orban and his Polish counterpart Matthias Morawiecki both countries have clashed with Brussels over the last year with Warsaw accused of undermining democracy with its controversial judicial reform and Hungarian PM Viktor Orban constantly criticizing the EU for interfering with domestic policy. And the European Commission has now proposed slashing Poland and Hungary as share of the £287 billion cohesion budget, while boosting support for Greece, Italy, and Spain. Officials insist funds are not being withdrawn, and claim the changes reflect the economic progress made by many of the ten member states that joined the Union in 2004. But Polish Development Minister Jerzy Kwasinski warned the move will further inflame east west tensions within the bloc and branded the proposed cuts completely unfair. Precise figures are still under discussions, but the proposals include reducing Poland's funding by 23%, a reduction of £17 billion compared to the 2014-2020 period, when Warsaw was allocated £73 billion. Hungary, the Czech Republic, Estonia, and Lithuania face 24% reductions the maximum permitted national losses before the Commissioner's safety net takes effect. Jody Hungary's Viktor Orban delivers regular rants against the UB contrast, southern European countries see a freeze or increase in cohesion spending. Spain's allocation rises by 5% to £29.6 billion, Greece increases by 8% to £16.7 billion and Italy by 6.4% to £33.6 billion. The Commission insists its revised approach reflects the evolution of disparities in Europe since the financial crisis while maintaining a focus on the most deprived regions and countries. Jeta Viktor Orban and Matthias Morawiecki have been a constant thorn in EU's side overall. The Baltic states and the four Central European countries known as the Visegrad Group lose around £33 billion in the next budget period, while southern states hit by the financial crisis Portugal, Spain, Italy, Greece, and Cyprus receive a £3.22 billion increase. Several northern European countries also see their funding protected, with real-terms freezes for Belgium, Sweden, Denmark and the Netherlands.